Hello guys and welcome to yet another Photoshop tutorial. Today's photo, today's tutorial, I will show you a very very cool effect. For this, this is like a advanced effect. So first of all, open your picture by going to File and Open. I already got mine right here. Is a picture of Jennifer Lopez. So so this effect is really good. So let's get started. First of all, make a new layer. Then select the rectangular magnitude tool, which is the second one from the top, right here. And then by holding down shift, start drawing rectangles or squares in her, over her face, her face only. And there we go, something like that. One on top right here, one at the bottom right here. And then I'm gonna select a. Uh, a gray color right here and by holding by holding down the old key and clicking backspace on windows that was gonna fill in the, the color in the selected area so and then double click on the areas then create a new layer and holding down shift start drawing other rectangles on top of those to make this effect look even better just like that Just like that, and then select. I'm gonna select a darker gray this time. And I'm gonna by holding down Alt key again and backspace, fill those again. Actually, make it a little bit darker. Then, uh, and then double click on that again. Then create a new layer. Start doing the same thing, holding down Shift, join other ones, other squares, rectangles. Just like that. At the end, you like it a lot, so. Please be patient and follow each step because it's, it's a cool story, it's a very cool story. Just like that. Just like that. One right here. Let's go with one. Right here. And one there. Now I'm going to select a lighter color, lighter gray. Holding down all key backspace again, fill in that. This kind of looks like white, but it's very light gray. Then add a new layer and holding down the shift key again, draw those. So it's one right here, one right here, one right here, another one, and another one. there we go then I'm gonna select um, in the middle so it's not really dark and not really light and then all holding down alt key and backspace again that's gonna fill it in and then double click on it that's gonna be selected and now we're gonna go down here on the effect panel and go as some drop shadow drop shadow we're gonna make the opacity 50% then uncheck the use globe light and then the distance is going to be about um, let's go 3 and the size let's go 2 and then we're going to go to blending options we're going to click on the blend mode which is where it's normal we're going to change it to overlay and then click ok now you see the effect right here which you can see the picture underneath but we want to apply that effect to every single layer so to do that Hold down, I mean, go to the layer which you applied the effect on, which was the last layer, then right right click on it, and go on copy layer style, and then holding down the shift key, select layer 1, and that's going to select all four of them. Then right click again, and click on paste layer style. So there you see, it, it, that thing, by doing that, it applied on, on every layer, the, the same effect. So now what we need to do is now we need to select you see by holding down the control key click on every single layer click on the on the fourth layer 
and you're gonna see the the, the box the rectangle are, are selected again then hold down control key and shift and click on all the other layers this is three two one and you see the selection and then click on the background now what you need to do to create just to copy the selected area and put it all, like click on the new layer you must uh, hold click on the control key and J that's gonna put out the selected area on a new layer and then deselect the background and you will see right here the effect we are but we, we're still not done then we're gonna go in the we're gonna add a hue and saturation we're gonna press we're gonna press on colorize and we're gonna make it blue something like that something like that so there you go that's let me crop it down a little bit so you can see it better There you see, look at this effect, it's beautiful, you see all this glass, so please check out all my other videos and have fun with this effect, you can apply it on any picture and please check out all my other videos and leave some comments, thank you.